Hey, hello everyone, and welcome back once again to Panzer Corps 2. While the task of defeating the Soviet salient north of Romania is planned, the encircled pocket at Riga is in dire need of resupply. Will you join the relief attempt or proceed directly to the next standard scenario? Let's provide air support. Scharnhorst, Scharnhorst and Gneisenau have not seen the ships in many years since Operation Cerberus. Little did I know that we would be saving the last of Germany's surface ships that day. Not quite the last, the mighty battleship Tirpitz has joined them. Seeing these ships in action once again has given me mixed feelings. Or perhaps I'm feeling this way because of Elf Gallant's absence today. That is probably for the best. It would have been too much of a risk for General Lieutenant Gallant to possibly recognize me. Perhaps, but this charade cannot for continue forever, and I dare say there is no more trustworthy a German than my friend, although his cloud within Luftwaffe has only risen since Reich Marshal, the Reichsmarshal's dishonoring and dismissal. I already forgot about that. We can worry about who else to reveal my secret to another time. For now, we best brief General Night Phoenix on the situation. Of course, my General. Our preparations continue to be made to launch a new offensive to clear out the Eastern Poland salient. There has arisen a situation that cannot wait. A pocket of Army Group North forces has been stubbornly defending Riga and the surrounding area since they were cut off mid-1944. For the past several months we've been able to keep them resupplied by air and sea, but the Soviets have been making incremental gains in the region and now a major reinforcement of Soviet aircraft is forcing us to close the air route to Riga. So strong is the enemy air superiority that an amphibious bombardment and the landing to recapture the coastal port of Memel is in the process of being abandoned, which brings us to our assignment. Primary objective, escort all four German capital ships to the south er, southern exit hexes. Primary objective, Tirpitz and Prince Eugen must survive. Sharon and Gneisenau must survive. Elite objective, escort at least five supply convoy ships to the northern exit hexes before moving the German capital ships to their southern exit hexes. I like the urgency of making sure the Riga pocket survives. The last of the Kriegsmarine's capital ships have all been deployed for battle. Unfortunately for them, there's little those ships can do against the overwhelming local air superiority the Soviets have established in this region, and Grand Admiral Dönitz has ordered them to withdraw. Our highest priority is to ensure the survival of those warships. I recommend maximum fighter coverage for their entire journey away from Memo and back towards Königsberg. Be warned that the ships have taken some damage already, so they may not be able to move at their normal maximum speed. Another warning to keep in mind here, General. Soviet mining of the Baltic Sea prevents us from just sailing directly out of Soviet air range, aircraft ranges. Our ships will be forced to stay relatively close to the coast of their voyage. For their voyage. There's one more task to consider. While we could delay convoys to and from Riga temporarily to hopefully wait for the heat in the region to die down from the arrival of our service warships, there's no guarantee the Riga pocket can continue to survive without a steady supply flow. If you think your air forces are up to the task, we could attempt to run the gauntlet and escort these supply ships towards their ultimate destination at Riga. To victory for Germany. Alright. Recapturing Mamel, huh? Well, let's get to deploying. Alright, back. I uh, did my deployment. Basically, I've a few fighters up here and then a few fighters down here and that's about it 
for this mission, I guess. I also have one recon unit. Um, so the idea is that I need to escort at least five supply convoys to the northern exit hexes before moving. the German capital ships to their southern exit axis. Now, it's a bit of a weird mission. I kind of need to guess some stuff. strike first. I apparently cannot kill the yak. Uh, but I will damage this one. Oh, those are not controlled by me, huh? I guess it makes sense just to attack AA. to go after recon and I guess fighters I have no clue where the mines are, but I would say... Oh, these are funny. That would be fine down here. No, they could see it anyway, huh? I guess they just have some areas where they go automatically. Okay, 
Um, I also really don't know how many... Uh, bombers were there. Generally, I, I do like to go after fighters first. Great, super amazing result there. The problem is, if this is taken, then that would also be a bit of a problem. I'm still gonna put these in these positions. I'm actually gonna attack this Petliakov now. What that means is that at least these two cannot be bombed for the moment, and I think that's that's probably for the best right now. The uh these can stay here. Funny that they can even see that. I wonder how that works, really. Ah, bullshit. Man, I really hate bad results. <laughs> um. Wasn't there a plane there? Oh no, I'm quite sure it moved indeed.
Just like that, that's... A bit tricky, but I did kill that, uh, that unit. They can bomb this still, I don't really mind. this too here. Attacking mines. Okay. The nice thing here though is that I can attack and still move. planes are shot down, the less likely it is they'll be able to attack the actual important units, the convoys. And again I'll go for the fighter. <coughs> Go and attack this and take back the village. Um, okay, so forgot about these guys. Well, I... will again leave these here. They can bomb it. I don't mind. Unless... No, actually... Let's do that. They can still bomb these. I'm okay with that. The Schnellbote.
Seems like blue also doesn't move, so... Ain't nothing going on around there. Uh, once again... This time, bam, 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 and let's repair you. Can move one of these. If I just get some of these very close, they might actually go after that. And then anything else? And I also have a lot of turns generally these must be new Funny to get survivor on a unit like that. Uh, I mean, you have double attack, but better just kill them first. Attack with these. Attack with this. And you can kill them here. Another three planes down. Kill that. Kill that. Kill this. You're damaged enough that I feel like I will probably want to get them to the exit hex. Uh, seemingly these are also damaged. Let's get it underneath this. You here. You there. Since they don't move, there's no reason to try and attack any of that, really. The only reason why I would want to have these up front is because they are... Uh, ...capable of soaking up damage in places where I'd rather not take it.
They can see all of that now. is a bit of a problem as it is. Um, I also really have uh, no uh, clue as to how many planes they get at the turn really. Although it does seem like this is not such a problem at this rate. get them out. Convoys. I think then next turn I will get all of them. They actually did get new forces. Oh well. Three, four, five. And we got Auto Carrius with plus two speed and crippling blow. That's pretty good. General Admiral Oscar Kummerts, the com commander of the amphibious task force, has contacted us, my general. He sends his thanks for your assistance in escorting the convoy through to Riga, and he says he's detaching a special officer to join our outfit. 
Oberleutnant Otto Karius was supposed to join in the landing at Mimo, but now that the operation has been called off, he will be at our disposal. I'm told he is most comfortable commanding Yacht Tigers these days, perhaps something we should consider when assigning him. We have also been granted several more Panzer 7 prototypes. Fair enough. Um. Let's do that. Let's make sure they cannot be bombed. Because that's getting a bit out of hand. <laughs> All that fighting there is completely useless. Uh, it's just a bit of a shame they can only move two hexes, makes it take pretty long. But besides that. Just isn't a lot going on. It's a shame they didn't die. planes in this area I'll protect it that unit I suppose but uh let's get the sixth convoy ship in there doesn't really matter No Soviet planes. Sad, really. Well, one more turn and it'll be over. There we go. In this alternate history, a Kriegsmarine effort to break the encirclement of the Riga pocket was a failure. The plan to stage a landing at Mabel in early 1945, despite the presence of, an, of all remaining German capital ships, was thwarted by an unexpected number of Soviet aircraft. These aircraft squadrons had been sent to sever Germany's seaborne and airborne links to the Riga pocket, a task which they proved to be very effective at. 
Not this time. Even so, the unexpected arrival of the Creek's Marine Service fleet surprised Soviet aviators, who had only expected to be targeting small Schnellboot or transport ships armed with flak. In the confusion, the Germans enacted their contingency plan, codenamed Wagtail, to quickly extract their service ships from the combat zone. As a result, the last four remaining Kriegsmarine capital ships only sustained minor damage during the aborted operation, and the Soviet encirclement of the Riga pocket remained unbroken. Sure. That was it. Thanks for watching. Take care. See you next time. Bye-bye.